Hey, what's up? Hello, it's Katie Colson here. Welcome to, or welcome back to my channel. And today we're gonna talk about my smut salon. Do you hear that? It was like a chime. What? Am I having a stroke? Like, what is going on? Hey, what's up? Hello, it's Katie Colson here. Welcome to, or welcome back to my channel. And today we're gonna do a reading vlog for my smut salon book club pick for the month of April. What the bunnies picked for us to read this month is The Book of Cold Cases by Simone St. James. I'm very excited that you guys picked this because I had a lot of success with The Broken Girls by this author. And something I really enjoy about her is that she is a paranormal thriller author. So she does not like really pussyfoot around about the paranormal shit. Like there's a lot of thrillers where you think something is going to be paranormal. And then at the very end, it's like, oh, well, actually there's a logical explanation. Simone St. James is like, it's a ghost it's a ghost. And I'm like, yes! Like, I love that. I love The Broken Girls. I gave it four stars. It wasn't perfect, but it was really, really good and fun. So I'm hoping for a similar success with this. And Olivia told me that if I liked the vibes of Home Before Dark, then I'm really going to enjoy this. And I loved Home Before Dark. Like, where is it? It's over here somewhere. Boom! Right there. Uh, you know what I just realized? When I just thought, okay, cool, that's next to like my favorite print. How dare this atrocity be next to my gorgeous face? Like, how dare... I'm gonna have to do some shuffling around. Grace's art does not deserve that, okay? Anyway, what is this book about, you ask? Okay, well, in 1977, we're following two timelines. 1977, there was some brutal murders that happened, and one of our main characters, Beth, was seen running from one of the crime scenes, okay? So obviously, she is seen as probably the main suspect, I would guess, but when she goes on trial, she is acquitted, and she sequesters herself in her giant creepy mansion, isolates herself to avoid the town's judgment of her. Now, fast forward to 2017, we're following another main character, Shay, who is a crime blogger, a true crime blo blogger. And she stumbles upon Beth one day and is like, hey, can I interview you? Like as a Hail Mary. But shockingly, Beth says yes. But she's like, you have to come to my mansion and I won't leave. So she goes to this mansion and she's going there a lot over a couple weeks and things do not feel right. They don't feel right. Things are really creepy. It's very twilight zone-y because things are moving when Shay, like she'll see something, she'll turn her head and turn back and it's moved. And she starts seeing this girl outside that like isn't there. And she's trying to figure out like, is Beth a manipulative murderer that's just like gaslighting her or is some creepy like twilight zone shit going on in this mansion? I can't wait to read it. I'm very excited. It's honestly not that long and I have not read any of this yet. So this intro is me going in with full optimism. Let's get right into it because I'm very excited to read this. Hey, howdy. How are you? I just read the first chapter of the Book of Cold Cases while on my Patreon readings, friends, because they're literally the only reason that I, that I read nowadays or do anything. Literally, if I was not doing readings, friends, I would never do my laundry. If you can hear it, I'm doing my laundry right now because they hold me accountable. Also, they held me accountable to take a shower. They're like, if in, in this next sprint, if this next break, you do not come back with wet hair, we're all unsubscribing. <laughs> Hilarious. Um, okay, I read the first chapter, which is not hard because it's only three pages, and I'm digging it. I just really like Simone St. James. I like her writing. Uh, I'm really liking it. But then somebody said that the audiobook was really good, and I was like, say less. I mean, literally, if one person tells me an audiobook is good, I'll listen to a book. I was going to physically read it and I still am planning on physically reading at least some of it um, and following along in the book for what I listen to. But they said the audiobook is really eerie and good. So I'm going to listen to it on audio. And there is some things I need to do. Like there's some stuff around my house that I need to do. I need to sweep, make a margarita, make my bed. There's things that need to be done. So that's what we're going to do. And we're going to listen to this book. And when I get farther into it, I'll let you know what I'm thinking.
bro bro i just got to chapter 14 what the fuck is going on oh my god i love that i'm only this far into it and so much shit has happened so much shit has happened like things are happening so fast she's so clear and concise and to the point simone st james is that bitch i love it i love it it's spooky it's like yeah, there's like the murder aspect and the crime aspect, but then there's still all this paranormal shit that's going on, down, and I fucking love it. It's really good so far. I'm having a great time. It's 11.39 p.m. and I'm already 42% of the way through this book and I'm not even listening to it that fast. I could listen to it faster, but it's so fast paced. Like, it, I don't know, it's just, it's succinct, it's quick and I have to really pay attention because things happen so fast and I'm like, I'm here, I'm here for it. Is it reading like a five star? No. But is it reading like a good fucking time? Yes. I feel like it will be four stars. I feel like the book will be four stars. I'm hoping for the best. I don't think it will be more than that just because, you know, there's not really much, it, like, you know, that's giving, like, five star feelings, but it's giving strong four star feelings, which is, like, a great book. A great book. I'm really digging it. Um, I really like Beth's narration of, like, her kind of narrating, like, her life to this true crime blogger Shay because I totally understand Shay's like obsessiveness with this true crime situation because I would feel the same way. I feel like a lot of girls my age and around my age would act like this because we are obsessed with true crime, like obsessed. So I totally understand her. I relate to Shay a lot, but then Beth's character, I feel so much for her. And like, I'm going to, I'm going to be like, I would make an ass out of myself if Beth ends up being like a truly terrible person because as of right now, I'm listening to her talk and listening to like the story about her and even like the evidence against her and thinking, I feel like she's wrongfully convicted. I feel like she is wrongfully blamed. I feel like she is a very sad character. I feel like a lot of really bad things have happened to her and that she's dealing with a lot. I, I don't, I don't know. Like, listen, I, I mean, this is not a spoiler for the vlog, obviously, so I'm not going to say you know, what's happening or whatever, but I don't know. I mean, maybe I'll be wrong, but I think, I don't think she's completely innocent. I don't think she's completely innocent at all, but I think that she's innocent enough that I care about her. I care about her. I feel bad for her. And I think she has done some bad shit, but not bad enough for me not to care. Do you know what I'm saying? Anyway, I am making food at almost 12 p.m. because unless I forget what time of the day it is most of the time. So I'm going to keep doing that and I'm going to keep listening to this book. I'm absolutely loving it. Let's do it. Okay, here's the thing. Um, I finished the book of cold cases yesterday. And I, and I did not like it. I did not like it. I did not like it. It made me so upset. Like it made me so mad because I don't like uh, I don't like the trope. Like listen, the whole I don't want I don't want to go into spoilers yet because I'm going to reread the book. I'm like 15% of the way through the book right now. I'm going to listen to it slower 
even slower and like really try to sit on it because I was like, did I just read it all in one sitting and I didn't like the trope that it used. I didn't like like the thriller trope that it did. I never like when books do what this book did. Um, I was like gonna give it two stars and I'm like, listen, let me let me read it again just in case it's the book club pick. You know, I want to give it a more than a fair shot. Like I read the whole book, you know, but I'm gonna read the whole book again. Because I need I need to have my thoughts lined up, you know, like for this live show, I need to like be on the money. <sighs> okay, so I'm going to read it again. And I can tell you that 15% of the way in, it's good. Like, it's good. But knowing what I know, I'm mad. I don't know. I'm not going to give complete thoughts and complete opinions because I am going to read the book again. But I'm just going to tell you that as of right now, it's a two. But we'll see if I end up changing my mind. Okay? Hello. Um, it's been a day? One day? Two days? It's been some time. Um, I am like 62% of my way through my reread. And I'm liking it a lot more. I definitely, like I should have known. Last time when I talked to you where I was like, this is a two star, I don't like it. Because of Lily. Now when I'm rereading it, I'm getting it way more like I I was so caught up in like there's somebody walking by one second while we pretend that we're not doing this okay she's gone um <laughs> hi uh I'm liking it so much more why do I always choose to film right where the walkway is where everybody can see me um I am understanding Lily's storyline so much more and I'm like okay okay I'm digging it but then I'm very confused like there's a couple things I need to go on the smut salon spoiler page and ask some questions because even though this is my second time reading it I don't understand like I'm not gonna spoil it or anything but if you um if you've read this book the whole like when Beth is younger and the footsteps around the house like she sees the little girl's footsteps and like the writing on the window I was like is that a real person or is it a ghost like I'm so confused like what I don't understand. Anyway, so thank you. And I will hit you back up. I don't know when, but I'll hit you back up later. Okay, <laughs> bye. Psych. <laughs> We're still here because I forgot that I got a package in the PO box and I don't know what it is. Unless, did I buy a book? No, I already got the book that I bought in the mail yesterday. Okay, so we have some book mail. <laughs> we love to see it. What? This is crazy. What is this? I designed my newest reading journal cover with you in mind. What? So I had to send you one to say thank you. Thank you for being my comfort channel when I need a friend to talk to. Kate DeBoy from Of The Wood Books. Oh my God. Oh my God. Am I like a fucking celebrity? What are you guys talking about? Oh my God. Look at this. 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 Fucking look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look. Look. Are you seeing? Kate, oh my god. I, okay, okay. Uh, I kept always two books in my pocket, one to read and one to write in by Robert Louis Stevenson. I am, I am, oh my god. Holy shit. This is amazing. Oh my god, please send me the link to where you can buy these because y'all need to Oh my god, y'all need to get one of these. There's series trackers, there's reading wish lists, publication year trackers. What the fuck author gender identity tracker? What the fuck in-depth book reviews? I Oh my god, I'm losing my shit. This is amazing. This is amazing. Wow! I am in love. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's the best quotes of the year page. What the fuck? What is this? I love this. Oh my god, goals for the month of blank, tracking days red. I'm gonna have a heart attack. I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. Oh, what the f year end track stats? Kate, I wanna fucking cry. Thank you so fucking much. This is stunningly beautiful. It's so gorgeous. I love that it's floppy. Y'all all need to get your hands on this. I don't know where you can buy it, but I'm going to try to reach out to Kate or I'll Google it. I don't know, but this is so fucking cool. And it's big enough that like us reader readers, you know, can like really fit everything in. I can't.
I'm cool. Uh, I'm fine. I'm an air sign with a fire moon, and I'm not going to cry in this parking lot before I go to work. Do you see that? She fucking dedicated it to me. Oh my god. That is so fucking cool. That is so fucking cool. I can't. I'm like kind of losing my mind. That is so fucking dope. Thank you so much. I need to, I love it. I can't, I can't, I, I need to go. I need to go. I need to go into work. I'm about to show every motherfucking person about this. I'm ah! okay. Thank you so fucking much. Ah! I'm so happy. Okay. For real though. Goodbye. No, 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 boo, 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 hello, Small St. James, you let me down, good night, um, it's not a one star, it's not a one star, it's a two star, okay, it's not a bad book, but it was very disappointing to me, I read it twice, so I understand everything that happens, like, I remember everything that happened in this book, but the first time I was reading it, for the first, like, 25%, I was in it, in it I was like oh my god what's going on and then it just kept kind of like not leading where I wanted it to lead and here's my biggest gripe this the, the paranormal things in this book were completely unnecessary like they didn't serve the plot in any way like it was eerie it was unsettling and you're like but for what oh uh, but for why but for why like the hauntingness why like, it didn't do anything. It didn't matter to the story. If you took all of that out, it would be the same exact story. Except not misleading. That you were going to get, like, a haunting moment. Like, is there a haunting? Yes. Does it matter? No! Absolutely not. It does not. It does not. And also, I just don't understand. Like, listen, we're not going to spoil anything. But, Beth, I cannot begin to understand her ride-or-die loyalty for this girl. Like, I just don't get it. Like, there's a certain point where you give up the ghost. Like even like in toxic relationships, there is at some point in your long life where you let it go. And Beth was like, absolutely not. I will never let it go, not a single time. And I, I, you know, I don't condone it. I don't like it. I don't understand it. Like Lily is not like, I just, even guilt wouldn't have me being a ride or die for this long. Like I, I, I can't fathom it. I don't understand. And I feel so bad because I feel so bad. My discord is loving this book. They are eating it the fuck up and I am not responding to anybody. I'm not responding to anyone. Like literally I keep getting like at like at Katie Cole said, Oh my God, just finish a book of cold cases. Four stars or five stars. Simone St. James does it again. I loved it. And I'm like, I can't read all of a sudden because I don't like literally I've had so many people message me and be like, what'd you think of it? Or when I'm doing lives, they're like, what did you think of it? Oh my God. What was your rating? And I'm like, oh, I guess you're gonna have to wait and see. <laughs> like, listen, I feel bad, but then I'm also happy because I'm so glad that I picked a book that people really like and that like people had a big community talking about it on discord and they really loved it. Sorry, I've been um, absent from those, MIA, because I feel bad and I don't want to tell you I didn't like it. I don't want to tell you that. But I didn't. And I'm very excited to see what Jordan, like Jordaline, has to say about it because I feel like she's probably going to love it and I'm going to have not liked it. And then it's just going to be like awkwardly be me being like, 
So what did you like about it? Because I didn't like it. I'm sorry. Listen, I love the Broken Girls. Or I really liked the Broken Girls. Um, I did not... I didn't, I didn't like it. I think if I'd read it once, I would have given it three stars. Reading it the second time really solidified the things that I thought that I didn't really like the first time. So I'm going to give it two stars. Okay, hopefully more books later on in our smut salon will be um, better picks. Hopefully. Good God, there's these giant bees that just keep hitting my window. And I'm like, how do bees even get this big? I don't understand it, but it's kind of terrifying. Anyway, that's probably the bee telling me that I should be on my way. Wow, we love wordplay. Anyway, if you've gotten this far into the video, what should we leave? Hmm. Well, it says the book of cold cases. There's got to be like an ice cube emoji. If there's not, just an emoji that has something to do with cold temperature or something like that. We'll see. If you've done uh, this part of the video, leave that emoji down below. If you want to follow me on Goodreads or on Instagram, the links will be down below as well as my link to Patreon. I am having such an amazing time over there. I'm actually about to start an all-day reading sprint. So if you want to join me, that link is always down below as well as a myriad of other links. If you want to support this channel in any way, uh, I would appreciate it so much. All of that to say, I hope you're having an amazing day, evening, night, dusk, dawn, whatever it is you're having in whatever part of the world you're having it in. And I will see you in a video coming very soon. Bye.